Hey everybody, and I'm back for the last time with Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. So let's get started with Train Your Brain. This is a rather fun level. Probably my second favorite, aside from the very ending of it. I still have no idea why it, the title, I mean the loading screen says Space Speedway, I don't know. Whatever, let's get started. So yeah, this level is purely puzzle solving. Well, aside from the racing at the end. Oh, Simon says, all right, repeat every move the Martian makes and win the game. Okay, purple. All right, we can do that, we can do purple. Purple, blue, hmm, a little tough, but okay. Purple and blue. What else? Purple, blue, red. Okay. All right, simple enough. Okay. Blue, red, yellow. Anything else? Okay. You would think they would switch it up, but after all, this is a kid's game, so... Oh, I wonder what the last one's going to be, huh? Oh, wow, super tough. However, will I figure it out? And what's the next one? Oh. <laughs> and he goes and commits suicide, I believe. Yep. We beat him in Simon Says and he commits suicide. That is... What a way to go. Okay, so we go to the revolving electro fields of death. Just the name I came up with. <laughs> Surprising, this actually is a rather short level. It just always seems long because of the racing crap at the end. How did I miss that jump? Okay. So this next puzzle, press the green button and look carefully, can you redo it? Okay. So yeah, we just have to... Oh, wait a minute. We have to recreate the image we saw. I forgot you have to cycle through red first to get the green, so I'm... I don't know if the other spaces were red or not. I might have messed myself up. Wasn't really paying attention. All right. Yeah, simple enough, simple enough. Okay, so we got the reds right here and here. And then the other spots are green. Once again, simple enough. And now for the last one. Okay, just remember where the reds are, and the green will be everywhere else. And I pray this was where they were. But it seems about right. It gets a little monotonous. Alright. And our reward is a clock. Great. And a gold carrot. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why I always thought this was a rather long level, but I guess it's just because I always get caught up on the ending. See, Space Speedway, but the hub world says train your brain. This area is called Hair Dance. So we gotta go through here to get another gold carrot. Alright. I have no idea how that... This is where I came from. Okay. And that happened again. Oh my god. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright. Yay. More of these. Um, remember my very first time when I beat this game? Train Your Brain was actually the first time I ever saw these, like, disappearing platforms. 
because for the life of me when I was little, I could never do, um, was it the Planet X files? This was actually like my first experience with these platforms because all I would ever do was just enter the code to unlock all the levels. Okay, so what we got to do here, um, get across the disappearing platforms. Blue and yellow are safe, red will hurt you, and black means you fall into the depths of space. Okay, made it across. Oh crap. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Wow, really? Okay. I don't know why this. Wow, okay. Well, y'all weren't even going to let me say anything, huh? But that always seems to remind me of um, the very first area you come to in Metal Gear Solid. I, um, I don't know, the helipad where the two spotlights are. I don't know why this is. This just seems to look exactly like that helipad. And I have no idea why I just decided to share that, but whatever. Anyway, oh crap, did not mean to do that. Oh god, I gotta go back across these. Oh, alright. Less trouble that time. Okay. Alright, I'm through wasting time. We're about to do this. God. Alright. And, okay, I'm supposed to hit the switch that's in here. Let me make sure... Okay. And yep, that last one is now moving, so we can go over here. Now it's time for some backtracking. Or we can just do this. Yep. Oh, yeah, we gotta go do the reverse of these now. Concentrating, must concentrate. Just rotating the camera to make sure I had all the gold carrots from that area. And stop killing yourself, bugs. Oh, what? We're already done with this area? Alrighty. See almost eight minutes in. I think I'm making good progress. Acme Mind. Great. Actually, this is a interesting puzzle. I don't know what to name it or base it off of, but now you'll see when we get to it. And checkpoint. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to go over here? We'll see. Don't know why I thought I could make that. Okay. Well, I guess this useless bit of area was just for a gold carrot. Huh. Alright. Oh, thought I was about to get hit. Alright. And two more gold carrots. So this means we have two more gold carrots and two more clocks. And this is Acme Mine. Find the secret color combination to beat the master. Set all colors and press the button to validate. Highlighted spots mean good shots. Remember, Bunny, the same color never appears twice in a single row. And, oh, I'm supposed to get on here, okay. So we'll just go ahead and try one of the first four colors. Just trying to find the combination. None of those are the right colors. Oh god. Yeah, just going through process of elimination. I know there is a game like this somewhere, but I don't know like the exact name. Okay, so we have a green right here. And well, I don't know why I went past it. Okay, now this is where stuff begins to get a little difficult. 
let me go back to blue, alright? Okay, we'll try that. Well, looks like I'm not going to be getting this. Why do I scroll past it? Alright, light blue there. Um, pink. Yellow? Please? Okay, we got two more shots. This is definitely pink, and this is definitely green. And I went past green. Okay. But then I try here, we'll try dark blue here, and... Ooh. Orange, maybe? Alright. Yep, and uh, if you don't get all the colors by the time you get up to the last one, um, it'll show you the right combination right here, and he will shoot you with the beam. Great! So now we come to one of the most annoying areas in the game. Um, ooh, is this up there with Carrot Factory? I mean, it's up there with Carrot Factory, but I don't know if it beats Carrot Factory. Alright, and Gold Carrot... I better not have to come back to get a Gold Carrot. Gentlemen, on your bikes! Press the O button to grab the pole. Ready, get set, go. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. These bikes handle like crap. And plus, because of that, like, steep ramp, you have no idea where you're going. See, so, yeah, I'm barely moving the control stick. You have to aim yourself. That's not how you aim yourself. Oh, God. Yeah, you have to aim yourself to shoot off the poles. You have to beat the Martian. Of course, the green arrows give you a boost. Okay. Alright, we can do this. We got this. We got this. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Oh god. Uh... Okay! <laughs> I'm going to be stuck on this for a minute. Oh, and yet, yeah, as I... Well, I know you couldn't see, but... When Bugs is sort of boosting like this, you can't reach... I mean, you can't grab out for the pole, so... Yeah. Oh god! Alright, 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 alright. It... <sighs> oh my god. The controls are so sensitive for this. I'm... Maybe I should try the D-pad. How about that? Oh god, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, do not use the D-pad. Okay, alright. I have a feeling we can do it this time. Well, I s oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I have no comment. And I'm trying to keep my anger in check because there's somebody in the next room, so... Alright, did I? Yes, okay. Alright, we've pretty much won this now. We just need to stay in the lead. Okay. Barely, barely tapping the button. I mean, not button. Analog stick. Oh god, oh god. Alright. I think we got this. Oh crap, one more, one more. Uh oh, alright. Yep, home free, we did it. You win. 
I still don't understand that, but he's so grief-stricken he commits suicide. Man, these are some emo Martians. Like, seriously. They have more to live for than that. So we got the last clock. And the last golden carrot. Yes. 100% completion. Thank God. And which... No, I am not about to try again. No. No. But that's only if you get to the end of the course and, uh... You didn't beat the Martian here. So, oh crap. Yeah, I think if you die, you do have to restart the whole thing, so... Ooh. Exit level. And once we save, it'll be official. <laughs> Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. We sure did. You save your position. And the last time we're going to save. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, yeah. goodbye, goodbye Moyle. Moyle. Congratulations, Bugs. You found enough clocks to open the present day. So, yep. Now, a word of warning before we go back to the present. The ending is pretty underwhelming. Like, the rest of the game is fine, but the ending... Well, you'll see. Wait, is this... Yep, the present. Whew! What a relief! Thank goodness it was just... a... nightmare? Nah, impossible. Couldn't be him. All right, Merlin. Giddy up. Get along now. That's all, folks. And now we got some credits. But, yeah, the ending was just right out of the original Looney Tunes cartoon, so... It's nothing special. Just a 3D rendered version of the cartoon, so... Yeah. All in all, the ending could have been better, but... Hey, it's still a good game. I have fun uh, playing it, and you know, it will always be one of my favorite uh, PS1 games. I mean, it's definitely in my top ten. I wouldn't say, like, top three, not even five, but it's in the top ten, definitely. So, yeah, have fun doing it. Spanned a couple parts. Um, don't know if I'm going to post this in the comments for the backtracking video, but just in case I forget... Um, the reason I just chose not to do any commentary for that part at all was because of technical issues. Like, for some reason, the audio just wouldn't record. So, I ended up just abandoning, abandoning like, commentary of any kind and just uploading the video by itself with no commentary. Just me backtracking. But I made sure to, like, leave enough space in between, like, getting the stuff. So, in case anybody using this playthrough as a walkthrough would sort of know where to go you know so yeah just gonna let the credits roll and um so yeah I don't really have much to say it's my first LP I've completed not the first one I've started but just the first one I <laughs> the chicken place up the street for not delivering free of charge but uh yeah first one I've completed second one I've ever started don't know what I'm gonna do next though um I mean well I'll decide that when I've completed Pikmin so yeah Pikmin is more than likely gonna be updated twice a week now and I don't know I think I'm gonna finish up Brawl this weekend too so I don't know we'll see where I go from there after I beat Pikmin I sort of have an idea on what I want to do next um contemplating Ooh, a Legend of Zelda game, maybe. Or possibly um, Super, Super Paper Mario. I want to try and alternate between sort of semi-obscure games and like sort of well-known games. I mean, Bugs Bunny, Lost in Time, is a pretty obscure game. Or who knows, I might actually do the sequel. Um, I actually didn't know there was a sequel until I started doing this LP. 
uh, Bugs and Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. It's not the like actual sequel, just um, I don't know. It's a sequel in essence, because I don't think the story is directly related. But you're still time traveling, and I think it's set up the same. But I still have yet to play it, and I just bought it when I found out it existed. So I don't know. We'll see. If I enjoy it, I might uh, do that in the future. I'm also thinking about doing Mort the Chicken. Yeah. But considering I could never beat that game, that might be a problem. <laughs> yep, just letting the credits roll, letting the credits roll. That's all, folks. So anyway, I uh, just want to say uh, thank you to anybody who, you know, stuck around watching this. Thanks for watching, uh, and see you all next time. Thanks.